Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Terrific Tuesday. It is that day in the week that we thank God. We're almost at the very middle, and we give Him the praise because our God is an awesome God, and He doeth all things well. Doesn't matter what's happening in the world around us, God's Word is always perfect for us. My brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter what you see in the news. It doesn't matter how you feel, but one thing you must know is that God is a man of his word and he never lies. Today is the day that we call Holy Cross Day. It reminds us how powerful the cross is. In John's Gospel, the third chapter, verses 13 through 17, we find this very powerful message that it reminds us of. You remember uh, back in the days of Moses, when Moses and the Israelites were on their journey, making their way to the promised land, they had a situation that happened to them. And a part of the situation that happened to them is that there were snakes that started biting people. And because of their venomous bite, it would hurt them. It would even possibly kill some of them. But God gave Moses a remedy. He says, get your brother Aaron to fashion a snake and put it on a pole. And when you lift up the pole and the people see it, they will get their healing. Have you ever wondered why in medical, quote unquote, uh, history, you find out that there is seemingly a cross or a pole that has a snake wrapped around it? It is because it says, just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, the text says, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. You know, when Jesus went to Calvary's cross on what we call Holy Cross Day, Remember the cross he had to carry himself? They tied him to it and then they hung him up. They pierced his hands and his nails. Uh, he went to Calvary's cross simply that you and I might have eternal life. That's the reason the text reminds us that God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but to save the world. Just as they lifted up Jesus on that cross, just as they lifted up the serpent for people to get their healing. We must also lift up Jesus. And when we lift him up, all the world will see and know that that is my redemption. Let's lift up Jesus because when we lift him up, all the world will see and they will know that he is the savior of the world. We sing this song in the church. I wish somebody will help me lift Jesus higher and higher and higher when we lift him up. When we lift up his name, when we lift up his word, when we lift up what he did for us at Calvary's cross, it is then the world will know how Christ loved us so much so that he gave his life that you and I might have eternal life. So my brothers and my sisters, you don't have to worry about what you've done in the past. The cross has paid the price. Somebody said Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, but he washed it white as snow. So when I think about the cross, it is then I can say at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and all the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I'm happy all the day. You can find the joy in knowing Jesus, the savior of this world, by lifting his name up for all to see. Remember, when you lift up Jesus, Jesus will give you the eternal life. And you can truly say that you are exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And God bless you. We'll see you on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.